Hey everybody, Erica Serwin here from Pink Bucker Designs. I'm gonna show you how to make this fun little ride with me card that features that truck. And look at the hubcaps and the bumper. Do you see what I've done there? Yeah, embossed, so fun. I'm also gonna show you how to color the truck using your Stampin' Blends. This features this awesome new stamp set from Stampin' Up! called Ride With Me. It actually comes with some dies where you can make a 3D truck, but we're not gonna use those today. We're just gonna use this truck, and he actually has to be cut out with scissors. There's no matching die for him, but uh, it's well worth it. I love this set, and I have two other videos over on my YouTube channel if you're looking for some more ideas. All right, let's get started. We're gonna stamp our truck in Memento Black because I'm gonna color it with Stampin' Blends. So we want it to um, not smear at all or um, cause any kind of weird mixture. So you want to use a water-based ink with your alcohol markers. Okay, I'm gonna start with my light pool party. And I'm gonna work in sections because I don't want my ink to dry before I can blend it. And I'm using the brush tip, you'll notice. Um, I prefer usually to use the bullet tip, but because we're working in a larger area, I'm gonna use that brush tip to make it go a little bit faster. Now I'm gonna take the dark and I wanna add shadow behind this piece right here. So I'm just gonna kind of go down and along that door like that. Then I'm gonna go back with my light and just kind of blend it out into the other. I wanna leave that top part right there the lightest. Now I'm gonna take my light and I'm gonna come over and carefully do this part. I don't wanna get that tire at all. We're gonna leave the tire white. And this will be a light area because it's sticking out. But back here, it's gonna be dark because I think that this is the underneath part. I can't quite tell if it's the underneath part or if it's just another part on the outside. But either way, we're gonna make it dark. Then we're gonna blend that out with some light. All right, let's move over to this door now. And carefully going around the window and the door handle right there don't want to get ink in the wrong places. How many times have I been coloring something quickly and ruined it by going in the wrong area because I was going too fast? Lots of times, unfortunately. Now I'm gonna take that dark again and go behind there and down here. And I'm actually gonna color the, the I'm guessing that's a little step there to get into the truck. I'm gonna make that dark. All right, now let's blend all of that color up and out like that. All right, once again, we're gonna do this part, which I think is called a fender. I don't know, don't, don't spam me with hate mail if I'm not using the right terms. I'm not a car girl and I don't know what that's called, but all I know is that this truck is super cute and I wanna color it with my Stampin' Blends. Okay, I think we've got all that done. That looks pretty good. You can continue to add layers of color if you want it to be darker. Now, we're going to actually emboss using a blender pen and some Versamark refill. Now, there is something that you can do with an old uh, blender pen. You can actually pull this tip off and pour this in, and it does take some time to soak. But what I found, I did that on this end, what I found, which is faster, is to just take your silicone mat and take some Versamark and just put it there. We're gonna just kinda use it like paint. All right, now, one thing that we really need to do is take our embossing buddy and rub it really good all over. We don't want the powder sticking anywhere but where we want it. Now I'm just gonna take a tiny, tiny, tiny bit, not too much, and I'm gonna color in with my, the tip of my blender pen, those little hubcaps, 
Versamark is the ink you would use if you're going to emboss an image, and this is the refill for the pad. So you can just use the refill. Um, I've tried taking ink directly from the pad, but it just didn't get pick up enough. So I like doing it this way. It's almost like paint. And a tiny, tiny bit right here on that door handle. All right, now I'm gonna take silver embossing powder and sprinkle it, or dump it, whichever. <laughs> whichever. And I'm gonna, let's just tap it off over here. All right, it looks like I got it exactly where I wanted it. Yeah, this looks better than the first one. Now I'm gonna have to clean this up later. So I'm gonna set this way out of the way so as not to make a mess. Now, get your heat tool and you're just gonna hold this on here until you see that silver turn to shiny. Don't hold the heat tool too closely to your paper or without moving it because it will scorch your paper. It takes about 10, 15, maybe 20 seconds to get to the temperature that you need. See right there how that just automatically started turning that to silver. Isn't that gorgeous? Now it looks like I probably should go back and add a little bit more here to the fender because I didn't go all the way to the edges there. But for the sake of the video, I think I'm going to leave it. Wow. Isn't that fun? Just kind of magical. Now, get your sharpest pair of scissors, your smallest sharpest pair of scissors, and we're going to go on the outside edge, all right, staying on the outside of that black line, and we're going to turn the paper, not the scissors. See how I'm turning with my left hand? And we're just going to carefully cut around the, the edge. Now, cut those big pieces off as you go around because if you have that big piece hanging off there, it's going to make it a little more difficult to cut. It's going to get in your way. So after I go across the front here like this, cut that off. And like that. Almost there, almost done. And turn the paper. That'll make a smoother turn. There we go. Okay, let's start putting it together on our paper. I'm using several different turquoise blues. I've got three strips that are three fourths inches. Um, wide and I made them a lot longer than I needed them to be because I'm going to trim them off to match the whisper white piece the measurements for all of this are over on my blog this uh, project was originally done on a Facebook live um, so there are two other ride with me projects on this post as well that's linked here um, on the video so you can go over there and you can get all the measurements off the PDF for this project so we've got Bermuda Bay Coastal Cabana and pool party now I'm just going to flip it over and cut them so that they match the edge of the Whisper White. See that? I keep seeing a bathing suit advertisement on Facebook that looks just like that. I don't know if you guys have seen it. All right, we're going to put this here, but let's first do the stamping. We're going to do a little trick. The sentiment is two lines and it says, today belongs to you. And then the second line says, ride with the window open. So I'm gonna put part of it here and part of it here. So we're gonna mask off, grab a post-it note, and you know what, I think I need a bigger one. Grab a post-it note and very carefully mask off that bottom line like that. And then ink it up like that. Don't forget to remove your post-it note. And then you can come over here and stamp, today belongs to you. Now, clean your stamp really well. This is the chamois. Very good for cleaning stamps. Get a clean post-it note, and this time, mask off that top line. Let's make sure I got it. it looks like I am a little bit crooked. I don't wanna cover up that bottom word there. And do the same thing. Don't forget to take your post-it note off. 
and come right down here and do it there. Oh my goodness, I love it. Now I'm gonna add my truck with dimensionals. I'm gonna get two dimensionals and put it right across there. Now I really felt like it needed something else. So I got some pineapple punch cardstock and I cut out a bunch of hearts. These are the Be Mine stitched uh, dies. They, the two that I use look like this and this one. And I'm just gonna take my glue dots I'm gonna stick these in like that, just kind of at various angles like that. We want this one a little bit out front. And then these little, little ones, I mean, you could get crazy. You could add a ton, but I think I'll just stick with five for the video. There we go, so cute. All right, I really like how that pineapple punch pops off that that those blues, those turquoises. Now here is a piece of Coastal Cabana that is just a little bit bigger. And I've got embossing buddy dust everywhere. I'm gonna get four dimensionals. One, two, three, four. And we are done. Look at that, a Bermuda Bay base card base and we are done. Now, use your mind and think about some other things. What could we put in the back of here? For the holidays, we could put, you know, all kinds of things. We could be, if you wanted this to be for a guy, you could do stars maybe. Yellow stars would be more fun than hearts for a guy. But the possibilities are really endless. This truck, this stamp set is so much fun, and it even has other options. Pumpkins, Christmas tree, balloons, if you didn't want to do the die cuts. All right, you guys, I hope you like this card and I hope you like the way that I did the embossing. I hope you'll give it a try. If you have questions, please let me know, but make sure you hop over and get that PDF on the blog post. It's under the last photo. You guys have a wonderful day and let me know if you have questions. Bye.